Hello and welcome to this edition of PhotoshopDemos.com and uh, I'm going to show you a couple little basic tricks about the new toolbar in Photoshop CS3. Um, I'm a little excited tonight just because <clears throat> I've made several attempts to make some video recordings, screen captures, using the Cam Studio free version and needless to say it's been a total freaking disaster um so anyway um yeah finally i got some settings set up so i'm hoping that this is going to work out and without further ado i want to show you some new tools as you can see in photoshop cs3 you have a toolbar um, for photoshop and it looks a little bit different at the very first sight you basically have a long strip of tools versus the previous version that looks something like this. So this little arrow will basically set your toolbar back to its normal previous state that you were used to in previous versions of Photoshop. They've done everything that they can in this version of Photoshop to reduce the amount of crap that you have to see in Photoshop while you're working. So Notice all these new little arrows up in the top of your tool menus and that will quickly allow you to minimize or maximize any of your toolbar settings in Photoshop. Um, basically all your palettes have been condensed and shrunken down into small little sections um, and <clears throat> they're a lot easier to get to and view. The only thing that you're going to have to get used to is some of these new little icons that maybe you're not familiar with um, and just kind of remember what they are like actions is the little play button um, and this one here is like your history and your actions whatever um, I mean all these menus can be customized but the key here is just knowing that you can collapse or expand any of your menus at any time. Um, the other thing with this particular menu you'll notice that you have um, again you can always click on this particular section um, to get the um, Photoshop help if you need to do that um, and you can click the arrow to collapse or expand the toolbar into a double or single row and like always any of the icons that have that little arrow down in the corner and I know it's really hard to see so either you'll have to turn on uh, your accessibility um, or your um, you know if you have trouble seeing this you're just going to have to either look closer at your screen or increase your screen resolution because some of the icons are a little bit hard to see but um, yeah basically any of those little um, little arrows in the de in the lower part of the of the actual icon mean that you can actually click and hold on that particular icon and you're going to get this flyout menu with several different options so if you hit T you're going to get any of these options here and basically those little um, these little things here the P and the T's that you see on like the text tool if you hold this out the T here that just means that um, those are the shortcut keys that you can use to scroll through those different text options so if you hit T um, you will basically scroll through the different types here um, so if I select horizontal type marker and I hit T if I'm on another tool or something it's gonna bounce right back to that so if you want to leave one of them as a default you can actually go through and set like if you want to leave this as like the free pen tool if you want to leave it that one or whatever you can select that one so within your toolbar toolbar you actually have several other um, different options within that toolbar it's not just like a matter of clicking on one and then scrolling through like basically just click and hold for a few seconds and this other little dialog will pop up so that you can get some of these other options. Um, the nice thing about your toolbar too is if you want to collapse it you can do that as well um, and then also if you want to come up here you can 
optionally hide your tools um, or you can enable them here if they're not showing. So if you go into a different mode, if you hit, um, you'll notice if you hit F on your keyboard, that enables full screen or not full screen. Um, and what that does is you'll see here is if I open up a, a, um, a document and let's see, let's just find something. Um, I'll just open up one of these. Uh, how about a picture of Hillary Clinton looking like the Joker? <clears throat> um, yeah, basically I, I downloaded this photo because I thought it was rather comical. Um, somebody had taken this photo and made it look like the Joker, painted her face white and her hair green and stuff. It's pretty funny. Uh, but anyway, so um, this this particular, um, you'll notice how it opened like in this window, like it left the toolbar and everything where it is. Well, if I go into full screen mode, you'll notice that you get some different options here. So you'll see that now this is a floating window. This is now a floating window. And if I hit F on my keyboard, it's going to toggle through the different modes. And you'll notice that now this is in full mode and if I hit F again and then use my space bar it's going to turn into a hand and I can move this object around um, now the key with this whole thing is is if you hit F you'll go into having the the, the back of the screen black and you don't necessarily want that but uh, the other thing is that you can actually drag your toolbar to where you want it. So again, if you want to match that back up to the side, um, expand and track as the arrows on the side, but if you want to pull your toolbar out, you just drag it out like that and then you can move it around like that. Hitting the F key will toggle between full screen modes. If you go into full screen, you can basically take that, pop it right back in the side. And you'll see that that changes. So those are some ways to familiarize yourself with the toolbar. Um, I hope that helped. Uh, play around with it, see what your different uh, pop-out menus are. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns or anything else, just visit PhotoshopDemos.com. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.